A Near Field Communication, or NFC, tag is a tiny gadget you may program to perform a specific function. You only need to bring an NFC-capable smartphone close to the NFC tag to start the action because the two can connect wirelessly. Because NFC tags are portable and don't need significant physical setup, they are particularly beneficial for renters. While some tags come with stickers that make them simple to affix to surfaces, you may also attach them to walls with masking tape so that you can move them about without damaging the paint. Here are the 10 new advanced ways to use NFC tags for automation idea. Number 10, pass off the music. You can make the music currently playing on your phone switch to a Spotify source and begin playing on your smart speaker by scanning an NFC tag located close to the speaker. If you are merely going to use Home Assistant to switch the Spotify source to the Echo Dot that the NFC tag is near and then start playing, then you can skip this section. Number 9. Override Motion Lights the lights in your garage will automatically turn off after 10 minutes of inactivity, but you may easily override this setting. The lights in the garage will remain lit if an NFC tag that is located on your workbench is scanned. You can accomplish this by creating a new input boolean in order to monitor whether or not this override is currently being used. Then, when you scan the tag, you will receive a notification informing you of whether or not it is turned on. Last but not least, you can put a condition that would prevent the lights from turning off if the input boolean is set to true. Number 8. Storage Bins The storage bins in our garage can sometimes be in a bit of disarray. But if each container has an NFC tag, you can quickly create a list of what is stored in that bin. When you scan it, you will then be able to view at a glance all that is included within it. You could make all of the storage containers use the same automation to simplify the process. You will then have the option to add a trigger ID to each trigger for scanning the NFC tag. Because of this, you will be able to determine which action to carry out because you will know what NFC tag was scanned. In this manner, you won't need more than 10 different automation to handle all of the storage bins. Number 7. Chore Tracking With an NFC tag, you can keep tabs on any and all of your errands. Go for more than a week without emptying the water tank of your robot vacuum, your intelligent home will send you a notification to remind you to do so. After you have done so, scan the tab, and it will be considered complete for an additional week. Home Assistant enables users to do this by allowing them to construct a counter helper. In this manner, you will be able to create a daily automation process that would add to this counter. If the counter value is greater than six, automation will be activated. If you are home at eight o'clock at night, it will notify you that it is a good time for you to clean it. Before we go ahead further, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment saying I subscribed. I will personally reply to your comment. Number six, pause doorbell alerts. When we tend to the front porch by picking weeds or cleaning, our doorbell seems to be constantly alerting us to motion, which may be unpleasant. You can add an NFC tag near your entrance door. Doorbell motion alerts are temporarily suspended whenever it is scanned. Suppose you are utilizing an input boolean to keep track of whether or not this feature is enabled. In that case, these instructions are very similar to the ones that were given before. After you have scanned it, you will receive a notification informing you whether or not they are paused. So, on the automation of your doorbell, you can simply have an automation that will skip the notification if the input boolean is turned on. Other things are also going on, such as not being notified too frequently, or if you just open the front door, which you have explained in prior videos. These are both examples of things that are happening. Number 5. Track items in the household. If you have a lot of boxes that need to be packed, 
You may attach an NFC tag to the outside of each box so that you can keep track of what's inside each box. This prevents you from having to open the box and examine its contents whenever you require something new, saving you a lot of time. You could also attach this to the exterior of your kitchen cabinets, drawers, or shelves. Number four, setting a kitchen timer. Suppose you don't have Siri or Alexa and you dislike manually setting timers. In that case, you can add a tag that will start the timer for you instead of having to do it yourself. You will save time and effort by not having to set up the same timer over and over again, which is helpful if there is a recipe that you like to prepare quite frequently. You may keep this NFC tag in the kitchen so that it is always within easy reach and takes very little time to use. Add your thoughts on the best segment of this video if you want to see more creative ways to automate your house. Number three, locking and unlocking all the doors. If your door already has a smart lock, you may even install an NFC tag on it to make it automatically unlock when you approach it. If your smart lock is fingerprint or keypad based, you can save time by utilizing an NFC tag instead of the fingerprint or keypad. But if your smart lock unlocks automatically when it detects that you are nearby, this is generally not necessary. Number two, turn off the AC or heating when leaving the home. Leaving the heat or air conditioning off when you leave the house is another great way to save money on your utility bills and help the environment too. You might want to try placing the tag next to your front door so that you can simply tap your phone to turn off the heating or cooling system. If you do this, you could reduce the amount of money you spend on your next electricity bill. Number one, turn on and off all lights in the home. Have you ever been in such a hurry to go out of the house that you didn't want to walk from room to room switching off the lights? It is possible to program it so that an NFC tag will turn off all the lights for you at the same time. If you position the tag near your garage or front door, you can be programmed to turn off all of the lights in the house when you leave the house or go to bed at night. This is a very useful feature because it saves you time. In a similar vein, you may also configure a tag to turn on all the lights in the house in preparation for your return, should you decide to do so. In this way, you won't have to worry about stumbling around in the dark when you walk in the front door and turn on the lights. What do you think of the video? Let us know about your favorite part of the video in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more home automation videos, subscribe and leave a comment saying I subscribed. I will personally reply to your comment. See you next time and thanks for watching.